plant varieties, uh, it is a very important uh, thing, especially that we are getting new varieties to, to the production. And um, I will tell about uh, the most important thing, uh, the, one of the best uh, systems we have, it is a Danish system, because uh, most of the Danish farmers, 95% use uh, certified seed, and uh, uh, I don't think that we have uh, varieties who are more than four or five years old because the development of the new varieties is going uh, uh, very fast because the demand from the farmers to get new, better varieties, better yielding, better uh, fungus resistance and, uh, and all these things and a better quality of the, the, the needs uh, uh, for, uh, for, for example, for beer production or stock production or food to, to the pigs or whatever it is, the farmers want to know that they are uh, producing the best quality on the land they have. The plant variety protection, uh, <coughs> from my uh, point of view in, uh, in my country, it is only good uh, because we have a very good col collaboration with the breeders uh, and uh, we are making an independent test of all the varieties and uh, a part of that is paid by the breeders and another part is pay paid by the farmers. And uh, then we are spending a lot of time and a lot of uh, energy to tell the farmers the benefit of it. Because if it is only the uh, breeders who know the benefit of the incredible good varieties, it don't help anything, even not in their own economy. So what I see, if you look out in the world, uh, in a lot of countries, um, the farmer doesn't know enough about the good varieties. And um, so we need to find a way where we can um, Get, the, uh, get out of this yield gap we, c we can see in the different continents in the world where the farmers could produce more if they knew there was a way out of it. Because there's a very big yield, uh, yield gap uh, from what they could produce and what they actually are producing today.